Okay, so we're going to do our time out here. Okay, time out. We've got patient uh, John Doe here for an awake tracheotomy. He has an obstructing laryngeal tumor and therefore is not uh, intubatable and needs an awake trach. Uh, he's a suspected but unconfirmed COVID patient. Site is um, is marked. Uh, myself and Dr. Polk, you'll do the case. Antibiotics make it in? Yes, they have. Okay, patient supine and neck extension. Uh, there's no imaging display, no special cusp measures. VTE prophylaxis has been appropriately administered. Any questions or concerns? No. Uh, fire risk is a three. Uh, to reduce the risk of aerosolized particles, we'll use a smoke evac, a uh, judicious cutter with a smoke evac, and we'll discuss specific measures to reduce aerosolization and contamination of the room. Specifically, if the dissection and exposure of the trachea is favorable and the perceived ease of insertion of the tracheotomy tube is, is easy, then perhaps we will per paralyze once the trachea is exposed, but before creating the actual tracheotomy window. Okay, sounds good. If there's any accidental circuit disconnects, I'll immediately let the team know, and we'll have another discussion closer to the time. Okay. It's okay there, John. Take good care of you, okay? Okay. Okay. Well, uh, and we have some backup airway adjunctive measures here. We have uh, an endotracheal tube with a stylet and a bougie as well, should okay. we proceed with that uh, paralyzed technique. Okay. So, uh, so, and just um, if the patient's saturations are going down too low and it's taking too long to put the tracheostomy tube in, our backup plan is going to be the bougie and the tracheal tube. Okay. Okay. So we'll infiltrate some lidocaine into the soft tissues of, burning of the there, neck John. here for analgesia and hemostasis. Okay, you're doing great. Okay, take the 15 blade. We're going to get started here. We'll do this quick. We'll proceed quickly. A little bit of, little bit of pressure Good here. Incision. Good. That's it. Slow deep breaths. Slow deep breaths. Okay, good. Looks like the trachea is exposed there. I'll take the bakey. Okay, so. Okay. It's okay there, so we have good exposure of the trachea. I uh, normal looking anatomy, very, very okay. good exposure. Thin, favorable neck. I think it would okay. be uh, an easy insertion of the tube. Okay. So to minimize coughing from the tracheostomy yep. site and contamination from the wound, I think in this particular case, yep. we could induce general anesthesia with paralysis now okay. and then proceed with the tracheotomy very rapidly once we've established that. Okay. All right. So are we all ready to go with that? Yeah. Good. Yep. We have our tube. Yeah. And we have our backup measures if the okay. insertion is difficult. All right. So I'm going to induce anesthesia now. John, we're going to put you off to sleep now. Take some nice big breaths for me in and out. You're doing really, really well. We'll take good care of you here, okay? So we're doing a rapid sequence. Propofol is in. 100 milligrams of Roth is in. I'm just going to turn on my twitcher here. Let me know when you paralyze okay. and can proceed with the tracheotomy window. Yep, and I'm waiting 60 seconds. are drifting off and closing now. Okay. Right. All right. The twitch shows no twitches. He's fully paralyzed. Okay. So we're going to make our tracheotomy incision here. Take our scissors. Manage that. Very good. Okay. I'll have you come in there. Let's do this nice and quickly. Get our tube in. Reduce her out. Fully inflate the cup, please. The Excellent. Cup is up. Good. We'll connect our inline suction with our HME. Good. Okay. And then hand that over to me. Mm -hmm. All right. So confirming that the cup is inflated. Fully inflated. Yes. Okay. I'm going to turn on the ventilator now. Okay. Okay. The ventilator is on. And we have CO2. Excellent. Perfect. Okay. Good. good. We'll come out with that. We'll now secure the tube with sutures and also with a Velcro trach tie. Okay, great. Excellent. All right. Okay, so we finished our dissection. We have the trachea exposed. I have some concerns about this. You know, this is a bit of a deep neck, maybe some abnormal anatomy here. I could foresee that potentially putting the tube in could be challenging. Yeah. I, I wouldn't feel comfortable doing it with a paralyzed patient, yeah. so I think we should keep the patient breathing spontaneously. Okay, sounds good. Shall, shall, we, we, shall we move to plan B? Which yeah, we, let's do that. We're, okay, do we have the uh, hip fracture drape, please? We're going to set up a tent over the area. Okay, John, we're going to put a little special tent here. Don't worry, you can still take those nice you deep can come breaths. Out those. Okay, I'm taking it. This is not sterile. This is sterile? Yeah, now it's not. This 
going to uh, okay, make sure that this is Okay. So I just need to seal here before you as best I can. Okay, yep. there we go. So to go over the plan, yep. we will uh, we will make our tracheotomy incision. We will get the tube in, connect that, uh, inflate the cuff, connect the inline suctioning in the okay. HME. We'll hand it off to you. You'll, con you'll confirm entitled CO2, yep. and then you'll induce general anesthesia. Yep. I'll have this here and ready to go. Okay. Take a break, please. Scissors handy. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'll take the scissors in my hand right now. You're doing great there, John. Just keep taking those nice deep breaths. Okay, you ready? We're gonna yes. we're gonna enter the airway here now. And come in there. Good. Slow deep breaths there. I'm gonna extend my take a little bit. Good, we've got good enough spaces. Put the tube in as quickly as possible and take the cup. Cuff is fully up, yes. Cuff is fully up. I'm turning on my ventilator. And then I have inside of CO2. I have inside of CO2. Excellent. Great. So we'll induce general anesthesia with paralysis now. Okay. You're going to go out to sleep, John? You got the cuff there? You got the tube? Got the tube. We'll hold it in place. Okay, you're going to have to sleep now, John. Mm -hmm. You did really, really well. Okay, put the plug in. See what's on. Good. And we can now secure the tube with sutures and with a Velcro tie. I don't have to be very careful when docking the tent to yes. minimize spray. Okay, sounds good.